Hey, I'm Marty from Springhead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to be talking to you about authenticating your domain in MailChimp. Um, it sounds very overwhelming, so I understand why you're here, but I promise you, you can do it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And when you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments so that other people can find it as well. Um, let's get into it. Let's talk about what this is anyway. Um, when you send an email um, from MailChimp, it will come from MailChimp. It'll say via MailChimp when you send it. Um, but for best deliverability to keep you out of spam folders and some email platforms like Gmail are now having more rules around this as well, you want your domain to be authenticated in MailChimp, which means that the email will come directly from your web address, your domain. So for example, my email is teachme at springaheadmedia.com. So assuming that you're sending from an email address that ends with your web address, you need to authenticate your domain. And what that means is you're going to take some code from MailChimp and you're going to put it where your domain is hosted. Now here's where we're gonna have a little, um, I don't know, imperfect tutorial here. Everyone's domain is hosted somewhere different and the back ends all look a little different or a lot different and they change all the time. So even if I were to show you screenshots of something, you know, tomorrow would be different. Um, but I will give you the basics of how to do this and then you will understand enough to be able to figure it out on your platform. So in MailChimp, you're gonna to head to your account and domains. So if we look right here, this says that my domain is verified. That means that I've proven that I have access to that email address. That's the only way you can send emails from it, but it is not authenticated. I need to start my authentication. So I'm gonna click this here. First, it's going to ask you where your domain is hosted. It's got a big old list here. And if you can't remember where yours is hosted, maybe this will help jog your memory. The only reason it's asking you is so that it can give you instructions on how to deal with the back end of that platform. But again, these things change all the time, so it may not be the most up-to-date instructions. I'm gonna click other just so that we're all on the same page. Next, it's going to tell me that we need to go to our DNS records. We are going to add two new C name files. I know it's scary, just hang in there. I'm gonna click next. And now it's giving me the code that I'm gonna plug in. For this demonstration, I'm going to be doing this in Squarespace. So I'm in the DNS records. I'm going to head down to the bottom here and I'm going to add a new record. This first one is going to be a C name. So we're gonna to go to type C name. And it could be in your platform, they're already sorted by type. Now I'm gonna head back over to MailChimp and I'm going to copy this host. There we go. For our first CNAME record, I'm going to paste it in here. Head back to MailChimp, get this data for the second part here, and then paste it in. Go ahead and save it. Now I'm going to create another CNAME record. We're gonna need two of them. Heading back over to MailChimp. Again, copy. Back over here, paste. You get the idea, right? This one's another C name. Copy, paste. Go ahead and save it. Now, if you've gotten this far and you're like, yeah, I already did this, this stuff's already here, it's because MailChimp needs you to do one more thing. And this is something that Gmail and Yahoo have recently added as being mandatory. So you're gonna hit next and you're gonna get this DMARC code. So for this one, we're gonna copy and paste again, but this is a TXT record. So we're copying it. The only thing to keep in mind here is that if in your DNS records, in these records here, if you already have a DMARC that starts like that, you do not need to add this, you already have it. And that could be the case. Paste that in, we're gonna save it. That's it. We're going to head over to MailChimp to just confirm that we did it correctly. Next, and we're going to check the status. We did it! <laughs> just like that. There are times when it will take a day or two for these records to update, but recently I've been seeing it happen very quickly just like this. This isn't a trick. And there we go. Your domain's authenticated. Again, I hope that this helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Give me a little thumbs up, maybe a subscribe, and I'll see you around.